He returns to action in the Bay Area, going back home. First big fight at the Chase Center in San Francisco. He is moving up to 140 pounds to fight the WBC champion at junior welterweight, Regis Progray. He's the great Devin Haney who is here. My man, Devin. What's happening? How you doing, Thank brother? you so much. Please have a seat. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you for, for coming in. Me. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's great to uh, have you in person. We've talked before, but not yeah. in person. No, I feel so much better like this. This is better. Yeah. You're more. You're more comfortable. Yeah. We're over the z the zoom. The zoom. It's tough yeah. to connect. Yeah. yeah. You've been doing a lot of media. Yeah. In the last few days, mm -hmm. do you like that? Yeah. I mean, uh, it's part of it. You know, I signed up for it. Um, I knew that I would be here one day, so I know well, you know what comes with it, and uh, it's all about promoting the fight and. I want as many people to watch the fight as right. possible and to be at the fight. So, but I, I I get the feeling. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like you prefer the fighting, right? Oh, the other far. stuff is like by you far, have to do it. Far. I'm a fighter. Um, I love to fight. You know, this is more like the work part. Right. But the the the, the fighting is the fun part. I saw you at the Giants game yesterday with uh, Tracy Morgan. You yeah, were Tracy out. Morgan. Yeah, Tracy Morgan. Yeah. Are you guys friends or yeah. you were just? No, no, we're friends. Your we're boys. Just, yeah, we're friends. Yeah. Really? How'd that happen? Um, we did a podcast together. Okay. And uh, it was just organic. You know, we just we've done together. podcasts together. We're not like we're not hanging out nah, at Giants that's, games. That's why I said that. Connected. You know, now we're in person. Uh, okay, now, okay, so got it's it, a little different. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom is hard to really connect. Yeah. You know, we might hit a UFC fight together. We might hit a Giants game together. You never know. Okay, I look forward to that. Uh, but are you a UFC fan? Yeah. I saw you talking about those MMA guys like last month. Who was it? Oh, it was Sean O'Malley in your comments, <laughs> right? Sean O'Malley was in your comments. And we have another one coming up this weekend with Francis and Tyson. Uh -huh. When you hear the MMA guys talk about the boxers, do you just, do you I just mean, chuckle? Yeah, I mean, obviously, because, you know, it, it's, it's totally different. You know, when, whenever we the MMA guys come over to the boxing, you know, they it's not good for them. Right. And it's never going to be good for them. And the same, if we went to, I don't, I don't disrespect the MMA guys because, you know, they're, it's just a different sport. I know that, you know, I can't compete with those guys uh, in the cage. But when they come to the boxing ring, they can't compete with me. So it's just two total different, you know, fights, so two you, styles of fight. Right. So you think Francis has no chance against Tyson? Of course not. I mean, not even a, not even a, like a puncher's chance. I mean, you always got a puncher's chance. Yeah. That's, that's when you step into the boxing ring. Anybody can, you know, throw a hail mary and, you know, knock somebody out. But, um. It's, it's, it's very slim. Would you ever entertain any of those? Like if a Sean O'Malley, you know, actually pushed... It's not, it's not, it's, it's not the best thing for Sean O'Malley to get in the boxing ring with me. It's just, it's not... What would you do? It won't do? be competitive. You would smoke him? It won't be competitive. Okay. But I respect him in the cage, what he does in the cage. You know, he's a hell of a fighter in the cage, but when, it's, when he step into that square circle, the boxing ring, yeah. it's, a, it's a total different thing. By the way, in, in MMA, is there anyone whose boxing does impress you for MMA? Like who you see them throw hands, you're like oh. Sean O'Malley. He's, yeah, I, I like I like him. I like Israel Adesanya. Yeah, um, I like uh, McGregor, of course. Yeah. Um, I was oh uh, the the one dude that just fought Israel. Um, Sean Strickland. Yeah, him. What do you think of that? He did the old uh, Philly shell there, huh? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did that was impressive. Yeah, he's working a shorter role. Um, I never seen that in a cage before. Right, not a lot so, of guys do that, especially so, yeah. effectively. Yeah, it surprised me, but um, he looked good doing it. You watch the pay per views? Yeah. For some of the fights? Yeah, yeah. Not, but more boxing world, right? Like, are you watching all the boxing events? Because there's some guys who don't not, watch anything. Not all, not all of them. Um, but I do watch like the the big ones or like the one the people that I actually like are, am, am, you know, close with or came up with. I watch right. them, but um. Not all of them. Okay, so I have many questions because the last time we saw you in action was obviously the Lomachenko fight. Mm -hmm. That was your third fight with Top Rank. Yeah. Did you consider after that fight staying with Top Rank or did you know that you were going to leave? Yeah, no, I was weighing out all my options, you know, um, trying to see, you know, what Top Rank presented, you know, what they what, what they wanted, you know, what they had to offer um, and, and other promoters as well. Okay. Uh, overall, your experience with Top Rank, how would you describe it? I mean, um, you know, I had three, you know, successful fights with them. Um, I made a lot of money with them, so uh, I you enjoyed nothing, it. Yeah, I got nothing bad to say. Okay, uh, I saw an interview with Eddie Hearn last week where he was like, he was a man of his word. He told me he'd be back, and now he's back. Uh, did you actually make him that promise when you left? Yeah, um, I did. I I never wanted to leave Eddie. I never wanted to leave, you know, the zone and and uh, and Matchroom. But um, it's what I had to do to become undisputed, to be in this position. Um, you know, I had to go sign with another promoter, go, with the guy who I was fighting, uh, go fight on ESPN, and uh, and and uh, go do that. Um, and Eddie, Eddie, you know, he respected it. I told him that, you know, I had to do this, and uh, and I'll be back, and I did.
What is it about Eddie Hearn that you like as a promoter? No, I mean me and Eddie, we 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 have a relationship outside of boxing. You know, we're, we and he was the first one that really believed in me that that that, that you know gave me my shot. Um, you know, he when I was a young kid, you know, he 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 he, uh, he took a chance with me and he paid me he paid me well at a young age, and uh, I will always you know respect him and appreciate him for that. Could I ask what were the options that you were weighing before going with Matchroom? Who were you? I mean, uh, at? everybody. We were talking to everybody. You okay. Know, um, and there were certain fights probably tied to those options, right? Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, what was it about this particular fight that made you say, okay, I'm coming back to Matchroom and this is the one that I want to be the first one in this new chapter? Yeah, I mean, it was a, it was an instant shot at, you know, me becoming a, a world champion in, in the 140-pound division. And, uh, you know, that's something that I've been wanting to, to, to do to become a two-division champ. It was a fight. It was it, it was a fight for me to fight in the Bay Area where I come from, where where you know my roots is, um, where my day one supporters are. So uh, it, it it all it all made sense for me. How close did you get to the Shakur fight? Uh, in your mind, we presented we presented the fight. If if he would have said yes to the offer that I offered him, then the fight would have been been made. So however close that is, uh, would that have been with top rank, or could you have done that? No, with it, it would have been with top rank. Okay. Uh, so the, is the twenty five percent thing legit? Because yeah. I, I heard you say that the twenty five percent is still bigger than anything he's ever gotten. Yeah, it would have been the the twenty five percent would have been, you know, bigger than all his fights put together. He made all to put together. Put together. Were you shocked that he said no? Yeah. Um, I think his ego, you know, made him say no. You know, um, his ego and the people around him. Uh, also, I don't feel like he truly wanted to fight. I think he really wanted to just push me out of position and. Uh, what do you mean by that? Like uh, he 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 wanted he wanted you know to 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 fight for a vacant belt rather than fight me. The WBC one, right? Yes, exactly. Really. Um, but it, it is what it is. He chose he cho he chose that route, which you know it's, it's it's not a surprise to me because you know it was all it was all a publicity stunt. It was all you know just to you know clout and it pushed me out of position. So it is what it is. He he chose that route and. Uh, Maybe one day we'll, we'll, we'll still get it on. So it's interesting. When this fight was announced, I remember tweeting over the DAZN pick. I was like, man, I said, <coughs> Devin's one of my favorite fighters because it feels like you always chase the biggest fight possible, the biggest obstacle, the biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. Look at Cambosis once in Australia, then back in Australia mm -hmm. when it was almost crazy that you had to go back, but you did it anyway. Yeah. And then I got so much shit for that. I got so much shit for that, really? man. People were like, you don't know shit about boxing. You don't know. The Shakur fight was the biggest fight. And and. I could have engaged, but I was like, yeah, fuck it. I was like, why is he getting this shit for this? Why is it your fault that the Shakur fight didn't happen? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, this is, this is all the Do you feel business. like you're being blamed this, for this? No, I mean, this is all the business, right? Right. So when when George Cambosis offered me the 22% the, the and the, the two fights to go to Australia and to go sign with a different promoter and to, you know, get the vaccine and go do this and do that, where, 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 where was they at when, yeah. when, when, when I took that? It's, it was all the business then, right? I right. had to respect his, because he was a champion. He was a guy with all the belts. And I was a world champion at, at that time as well. So now that I'm the champion, and now I'm giving somebody the offer to make more money than they ever made in their life, put together in all their fights, then uh, I, I'm, I'm, the bad guy. I'm yeah. the bad guy. See, when, when I fought Cambosis, it wasn't, it wasn't for all the money. I, the, I fought was fighting for the same money that I was already making. But I said, no, fuck that. I don't. I, I don't care. I, I want. I, I know that I could beat him. I know that once I win, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be able to call the shots and 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 make all the money myself. So now it's that time. And they and 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 they they, they don't want that. I saw Floyd weigh in as well, and he seems to be siding with Shakur. Does that annoy you? No, I mean Floyd has the right to his own opinion, just like everybody else. He's no different than than anybody else. But was it fair when when? When he gave Andre Berto the short end of the stick, and Andre Berto right. got, got less. So when you read this stuff, does it piss you off? No, no. It's, it's yeah, like I said, everybody has a right, to, right to their own opinion. I got the right to my own opinion. You know, it, it is what it is. No, there, there is no right or wrong. Could it still happen? Could the Shakur fight still happen with you now, under the Matchroom banner? Um, of course. But you know, right now my main focus is, yeah. you know, Regis Pro Grace. Once I get past him. I'm willing to fight anybody, whenever, wherever, and I've proven that. You know, the last thing uh, I did was 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 you know duck any fights. If you look at Shakur's resume and look at my resume, who's who's fought the tougher opposition, me or him? Mm -hmm. You tell me. No, I, I would say you at this point. Yeah. Okay, so if anybody, if anybody's the one that's ducking, it's him.
Uh, and, and just curious, like, what is the state of your relationship? Because I know you used to spar, and that's been a bit of a point of contention as well. But, like, were you ever boys? Were you ever cool or not really? I mean, that's our business at the end of the day. Okay. You know, uh, we all in this to, to make money, feed our family, you know, um, and create a legacy. So well, I can't be mad at, at, at anything. You know, he wants a shot at Undisputed, or at least he acted like he wanted a shot at Undisputed. So I got to respect it. How many times do you spar him? Oh, man, we spar too many to count. We've been, oh, really? Yeah, we've been smart since we were, you know, um, 12, 13 years old. Wow. Maybe, maybe, maybe 14, maybe 14. Okay. So 13, this is, 14 years you've old. known of each other and been around each other for a very long time. Of course. And you were this close, but now you're going a different direction. Now, when it comes to the Regis fight, probably an easy... He went a different... He went... Right, right. I, I, yes, 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 yes. He chose, he chose that... He, when I offered him the 25%, he wanted to do the 50%. Then I said, 25%, take it or leave it. He wanted 50%. He's, he wanted 50%. Wow. And, he, and he's on record saying this. As the, as the undisputed champion, you're going to give 50%? That seems a little funny. Come on now. Like, that, that, what, sense, what, 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 yeah. what sense would that make? Right. Where would the fight even happen? Because I would think that you would be the A side just as the, I mean, you're the guy right now. Top yeah, I mean, it, 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 would be, it would have been in Vegas, Vegas? for sure. But. 50%, come on now. Not even, not, not even come back with a realistic number, mm. which it was going to be 25% regardless because that was the, 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 the amount that I offered him as a champion, as, as, as the guy who paid his dues to be in this position, who was giving him a shot, that was, that's what it was going to be. But to come back with 50% is like spit in the face. Uh, did you even consider it for a second, the no. 50? No. no. Okay. Then you move that's on. Why, that's why I came back with 25%. Okay. Um, when you sign with Matchroom, but like I said, did he did he consider it the twenty five percent? Because if he if he considered twenty five percent, why would he say fifty? Right? Why did he? Do you know if he did? Think about it. If he how did, how would he consider it if he even came back with fifty sure. percent? I didn't know. Maybe that's he was even, hoping that you would come that's back not even, with forty that's not or even, something. That's not even realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From twenty five to fifty, that means that that means we're on an even playing field. That I'm, you have you have two belts. I have two belts. That's that's what that's a 50-50 right. fight. Right. Not a guy with four belts and you have nothing. You, you have fought one fight in the division with a guy we never even heard of. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the guy that you fought his last fight. You know him? Uh, off the top of my head, no. You know the guy I fought my last fight? Yes, of course. I was just about to ask you about him. Who was it? Lomachenko. His name? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Come uh, on now. It's not it's 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 not right. Uh did you consider a rematch with Lomachenko? Yes. And and what happened? Uh we we we, we looked at it. We looked at the what they were the, the money that top rank was 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 willing to put up and uh we just said you know what we're gonna take this fight and then we'll circle back okay um were you upset with the you know the the analysis of the fight do you think that you definitively won yeah of course uh, i definitely feel like i won um i thought that it was a a, a good fight uh but if you if, if you look at you know the the fight without the commentators without the crowd being biased or whatever not even no, but everyone not against me. Just just look at it. Look at it on his own. Um, I, I I banked almost all those early rounds, and he had two good rounds, but two good rounds and won a championship fight, and that's just reality. Do you think that people were against you? Like, do you, do you feel like the yeah, commentators I mean, and everything yeah, were yeah, against I mean, you? If you go back and listen at the fight, you listen, listen, listen to the commentators of the fight. You you'll see that they you know they were against me. And uh, why would they be against you? I don't know. You know, it's it's part of it. You know, uh, top rank guy. I'm, I was a top rank guy. I know, but he was like the more established top rank guy. Yeah, uh, he was with them much longer than right. I was, and it was my last fight. Right. But I don't want to put nothing on them. Um, okay. You know, I don't know if it was top rank. I don't know if they just you know didn't like me because of me. But it it, it is what it is. You know, I gotta respect it. Um, Who wouldn't like you? Territory. I don't know. I don't I don't know why they wouldn't like me. You know, I'm. I'm a uh, great guy. It was it was a great fight. It was it was obviously very entertaining and very close. Was he better than you thought he would be at his age? Like, did he surprise you? No, I knew he was. I knew he was very crafty. Uh, I knew he was very crafty, and uh, you know, at one point he was he was number one on everybody's pound for pound list. We can't yeah. forget about these things. So, uh, you know, guys guys rarely even win rounds against him. You know, he, he it was it's rare for a guy to win a, win a round. And you know, when he went when he went into the fight with Tio, his, his he went in there with it. Uh, injured uh, shoulder, you see, it, it showed, it, and it's you know it's proven. Like you know, he had receipts to show he had to get a cortisone shot and do this and do do that. And then the, the other loss before that was uh, Salido. That was his what, second fight. Mm -hmm. Other than that, he dominates guys. So uh, 
you know, it just shows what type of fighter I am. And eventually, you know, when maybe it's when I'm, it's all said and done, I'm, and I'm done with the sport, the world will acknowledge like how great I, great I am. But do, do you feel like I remember the first time I spoke to you, I, I threw out the um, theory that you should already be a top ten pound for pound guy. Yeah. You weren't at the time, yeah. and I was like, why aren't you even in that conversation? Now you're finally. I think I see eight, seven, yeah. something like that. Yeah. But do you feel like people are reluctant to yeah. give you your props? And if so, why? Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe because I'm so young. You know, I'm 24 years old. I'm still young, and uh, I'm the youngest out of everybody. You know, mm -hmm. on the pound for pound list as a champion. Well, I'm not even where I was the youngest champion. I think I'm like the second youngest now. Um, I don't know. At the end of the day, uh, I just got to keep beating whoever they put in front of me. The hate comes with it. Um, they hate you. They they hate you when you when you're successful, and uh, it's it's reality. You know, I'm uh, I'm doing something right. Uh, I thank God for 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 everything. Alhamdulillah to to be in this position. Um, I pray to be here, and uh, and now I'm here, so I embrace it all. Was there something about Regis Progre that made you want to accept this fight, or is it just the fact that he's a 140 pound champion and you yeah, want that? Yeah, he's a champion. Fight? He's a champion. Nothing I, nothing personal fought, between you guys. I would have fought you know any of the champions at uh, at 140. Um, but that was this was the easiest one to make, and uh, it's happening now. It's happening now. But uh, I want to. I still want to fight all the champions, you know. After this, but I got to get past Regis Progress first. So uh, that press conference last week was something. Mm -hmm. uh, not so much because of you and Regis. Yeah. Uh, but so that was really his strength, coach. Yeah. Talking all that shit. Yeah. That was a lot of shit. Nah, but he's. You keep know, saying you were getting knocked out. Like he's famous now. He's. I mean. He, yeah. He, he, you Ariel, you didn't. I know. Even know him. You I know. Him I know. That. I actually tried to memorize his name, and I don't even remember his name. Yeah. Do you remember his name? I no. I wouldn't want to remember. His I'm name. not trying to be disrespectful towards him, but like you don't often hear a coach speak like that. Especially not a, a strength coach. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially yes, but even if it was like any coach trying to hype his guy. Like he was being very, I, f I found it was like a little too disrespectful. Yeah, he, for, came, he came out very disrespectful, but um, you know, he's a, he's a strength coach. He wants to. Why was know, he up there then? As a strength coach. I don't, I, I don't think his real coach could uh, okay. kind of make it. So he was trying to like seize yeah. the moment. Yeah, you know, he's trying to make a name for himself, and he he did. He did a good job of it, and he's building the fight. So I'm not mad at him. You know, um, it didn't I'm, piss you off. I might give him a you know a tip after the fight for you know making the pay per view go up, okay. getting me some more money. But yeah. you're sitting there listening to this, and he's saying you're going to get knocked out. You haven't fought anyone, all this stuff, and and like he's it, never fought anybody. He's never. <laughs> well, I know that. that he's, a good a, he's a he's a stripper. Yeah. <laughs> so you know he needs to talk about some weights and some you know some some ab routines and some stuff like that, and uh, let the fighters talk. It was funny when Regis at the end. He's like, "I'm done with these clowns and all that," and he's like, "Well, you're talking about." Yeah, he's talking about you know? his, he's talking about his clown ass strip. Yeah, coach. I love your dad though. Is your dad here? No, nah, he's not. Your here. dad is the man. Yeah, I love, my, my, my yeah your dad has your back. I love your dad. Uh, yeah, my dad, he's 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 amazing. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my dad, you know. So, um, and my dad is seizing the moment. <laughs> yes, he was going back at him. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, one thing about it, you know, anybody say anything about me, my dad's gonna be down your throat, and uh, I love it. Okay, so when you guys are going back and forth, is there any part of you that is just like, can you guys like, do you want to interact, or are you happy that they're just taking away all the shine and? Let them, you know, build it nah, up. No, it's fun. No, nah, it's fun. You're you know? okay with that? No, nah, I'm okay with it. Like I said, I want to give the guy some, um, the strength coach, I want to give him some fame. You know, um, he's building a fight. And, uh, <laughs> you know, my dad's going to just, I know my dad's going to, he's, 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 as soon as he sees, sees something like that, he's like a dog off the leash. He's yeah, going yeah, yeah. to get on him. So, uh, um, it's, it's, it's fun to watch. Like, I commented on it. I seen it, I seen on my Twitter, them two going at it. And what's crazy, my dad was by himself. He wasn't even, he wasn't even like with anybody. It was like their little, their little, click and it was my dad he was just going back and forth with them it was amazing was prominent, all laughing emojis because it was funny it was it was amazing it was very entertaining um <clears throat> could I ask since we were talking about percentages mm -hmm. what is the percentage breakdown here for this one see so that see the thing with Shakur is I offered him a, a, a flat rate and uh he said he didn't want a flat rate okay he um so then um he uh so so with this fight it's just he reaches progress to get a flat rate and uh I'm getting what I'm getting. Okay. Are you getting more than Regis? Come on now. Well, he's the champ. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm the champ too. I know, but I mean, you're fighting for his belt. We're fighting for his belt, but you know, it's always an A side and a B side, and uh, sure. we know it's no secret who the A side is. But um, you're not you know, going Regis, to New Orleans. Regis is getting, you know, much more money than he's ever made in his career. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Were you surprised he was okay to go to San Fran? 
No, no, no. Yeah. He's getting much money he yeah, ever yeah. made in his career. You know, it only makes sense for him to come to San Fran and do it in front of my fans. We, you know, his last fight, he did it. He did it in front of his his yeah. people, his fans, and um, it wasn't a sellout. It wasn't um, it was it, you know a lot of, it a lot of people didn't come out and support. I'm sure you know people came out, but it wasn't just sure. it wasn't a big event like it like it is in San Francisco. You know, we, we did ten thousand um, ten thousand seats already. No way. Wow. Yeah. So they're expecting a sellout? Yeah, we yeah, yeah, for sure. And, Chase Center. And it, holds, it holds 16,000, so we still seven weeks out with, you know, 6,000 more seats to go. So. I saw you with Steph. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, yeah. Was that cool? Yeah, is that your first sure. time meeting him? That was my first time meeting him, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so. Is he, does he know fighting? Is he a yeah, fan? Yeah, nah, he, he, as soon as he saw me, he said, what's up, Devin? Oh, wow. How you doing? You know, um. Are they in town that, like, are they um, going to go? That's, I, that's what they're trying to see. Draymond said he's coming, so uh, I, I know think he's that a Um. Steph said if if they don't have to uh if they're not on the road, then they wanna come. Draymond's got a mean right hand. Oh yeah, I mean so that, <laughs> Yeah, I mean he's been you can tell he's been working on it. <laughs> uh that was that was a great picture. I, I was wondering we were talking with the guys, does do you think Eddie knew who Steph was? Oh no, he knows Steph. He, he knows did? he knows Steph, but doesn't know anyone else. He doesn't know anyone else. I wonder if Steph knew was, Eddie. Uh, Probably not. No, he didn't know. No, he didn't. <laughs> I was telling uh, Eddie like about different guys, like, oh, that's Clay Thompson. Oh, really? That's Draymond Green. He didn't know Draymond Green. Really? He doesn't know Clay Thompson, but uh, obviously he knows Steph Curry. Um, but if you think about it, Steph Curry is one of the, one of the most famous people. Oh yeah, I'd be shocked if he didn't know. Yeah. I was wondering if Steph knew Eddie. <clears throat> yeah, no. No, no chance. Mm -hmm. He's not on that level. Um, there yeah, hasn't. He's just big in the UK. No, know, of course, right? yeah, yeah. But he's doing. I mean, he's getting more and more known here. Um, For sure. We're we're uh, you're going back to San Francisco. There hasn't been a big fight in San Francisco since like Floyd fought there in 01. Yeah, I know. I mean, Andre Ward. You Oakland. Know, it was, was Oakland. Yeah. Oh, you talking about San, San Fran? Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is huge. No, this is massive. Um, yeah, it's, it, and especially he's never been a fight at the Chase Center. Ever. Right. Of any so, kind, not even UFC. Yeah. So it's been like. It's, it's 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 amazing, uh, especially you know just for my people to to be able to come support me. I've been fighting in Vegas, you know, with, with well, you know where it was a mixed crowd, people against me, people with me, um, Australia obviously, right. And uh, now I get to get to get get to fight in front of you know a whole crowd that's that's there for me. So uh, it's gonna be new, but it's gonna be fun. Uh, what did you make of Regis's last fight? Um, His performance. He didn't look good. I don't think he looked good. Um, was that on him or was that on the opponent? I mean, he fought a crafty, like, you know, awkward type opponent. But um, I don't know. Just Were you surprised that he didn't look good? Yeah. Um, yeah, I was surprised. Because I, I, I didn't know the guy that he was fighting. I never seen him fight. So I thought, you know, Regis was going to go in there and blow him out the water. But um, he didn't. Uh, he said in the press conference that the only reason you're taking this fight is because of how he looked. In that fight, that you think that now maybe yeah no I ca I caught him out before that yeah. um my dad actually went to that fight to go scout and go look him look at him see how he looked and everything uh because we knew that he was you know one of the guys that that, that we could fight that possibly we could make happen right um and so yeah but uh you had your eye on him yeah didn't I, matter I, I caught him out before that right um I talked to Eddie about making that fight before that. And, uh, but he's clearly, you know, he doesn't feel good. He's not happy with the performance he put on. So, of course, he's going to say that. Why is he trying to say that you uh, tried to scrub one of your losses? What is this? What is going on here? Yeah, I mean, What's have happened? you ever heard of that? Like, no, I've you know, Like, actually, like, like <laughs> I, we hear about crazy stuff in right. boxing and crazy stuff. But, yeah. Like, we've never actually know somebody that actually did that, right? I don't know. No, I've never heard of right. this. Right. That's like some movie type you, like, shit. Like right? that you paid someone off to yeah, scrub the loss? Yeah, that's a movie type Right. Shit. Like, Wouldn't there be shit. witnesses? Like, would there be some sort of footage of this loss? Has he been able to produce I'm anything? Special, I'm a special fighter. You know, I'm a special fighter. And uh, come on now. For me to Wait, lose what is, in Mexico. Like, I've been lost in the United States. So for me to lose in Mexico, all respect to the, you know, the, the Mexican fighters and, you know, fighters in Tijuana. It made me the fighter that I am today. Hmm. But come on now. I'm, I'm, I'm undefeated, undisputed. For me to lose in Mexico, come on now, bro. Where, where do you think this even came from? Did you, did you say Roly Romero Yeah, started? Roly, Roly was the first person I ever heard say that. About you? Yeah, he said that. But, like, where is he coming up with this? Or is he just making it up? You know, rumors start and then, you know, picks up. Picks up Does this annoy you? No, I mean. Doesn't annoy you? They're trying to say you have a loss. Of, it's part of shit talking. You know, people are going <laughs> to say crazy. what they're going to say. Um, but I do know Regis did get dropped his last fight, and they robbed him of that. Of that, uh, They robbed the guy, his opponent, of that drop. So, And if, the, and if they would have counted that, 
he would have he would have either got a draw or he would have lost. So he needs to stop talking. Right, 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 right. We know some stuff about him too. Right, and that was on TV. That was on the zone. Yeah, and he admitted that he got dropped after the right, fight. Right, he right. said he said it looked like a it looked like a drop. It looked like a um, knockdown to me. Why do you think he's like pushing this so much? What this thing that you have this loss that you paid off? I mean, because he knows that my record is my record is is squeaky clean. My right. my you know my my name is has no blemishes on it. So of course he's gonna try to come with something, but it's all part of building a fight. He can he can say what he want to say. I'm he gonna come with some more stuff. You know, once that dies out, he gonna come with something new. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. You you, you know this. Area. I know this. Like, People are coming at you left and right. Then I saw Leonard Ellerby say you're not a big enough fight for Tank too. People yeah. are why are they taking so many shots? Where's why why so much disrespect? I know yeah, it's the shit talking game, but it feels like a lot of people don't want to give you your flowers. They, they hate the greats. They yeah. hate them, and then they and then they don't respect. I know it? Yeah, they hate them. To, come on, yeah, now. Yeah, you know yeah. how this. Yeah. They they hate you, and then they 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 respect you when it's all said and done, and uh, they can say what they want to say. I'm just gonna keep winning, keep beating whoever they put in front of me, and. Uh, yeah. Which fight is a better chance of happening down the line? You versus Tank or you versus Shakur? Uh, I mean, the biggest fight is me versus Tank, so I would say that one. But uh, Shakur is, is not too far behind. Right. What weight do you think the Tank fight would be at? Uh, 140. Yeah? It would, have to happen at, it would have to happen at 140. Why is that? I mean, he's fought at 140 before. He beat Mario Barrios at 140. I'm at 140 now. Um, it would make the most sense for it to be at 140. You say I'm at 140 he now. Says, he says Tank is the type of fighter. He says he doesn't care about belts, right? Mm -hmm. He doesn't. He doesn't fight for belts. He fights for money. So he wouldn't care about the belts at 135. He would just. He would just want to make the money in the in fighting me. So, um, 140. And when you say I'm at 140 now, you are eventually going back to 135, though, right? For the right. For the right fight. Oh, okay. There's the a right, chance you may not fight yeah. there again. We gotta see. Um, you know, if it's the right money, the right fight, then I'll be at 135 again. Okay. But um, you know, my body's just maturing, and you know, my body has grown so much since, you know, the beginning of my career. I started at 135 when I was 17. I turned pro at 135, so I've been here for a long time, and you know, now that I just let my body just go and just let my body just mature and just you know, rest and recover. My body has. I got even bigger. So uh. You know, 135 would definitely be, be even tougher for me to make. And it, it was already tough. Like this last cut, tough? Yeah, for sure. Really? Wait, it takes a lot of discipline. Right. It takes a what lot do you of, walk around at? 160. Oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. But, you know, it's different because I'm, I'm, I'm a 160, but I'm, I'm not like a fat 160. I'm a, you know, still cut 160. So, you know, th those last few pounds is, is, is hard to, to, get, to get off. Uh, what do you think you'll you'll end your career at? Like, what weight do you think you'll? One fifty four. Oh, really? One fifty four, one sixty. And we might see you versus Terrence. You never know. That'd be nuts. Yeah, it'd be crazy. Do you think Errol's gonna do the rematch? I don't see it happening. If it's not at one fifty four, um, I don't see it happening. Is Terrence number one pound for and pound? Honestly, truthfully, I wouldn't want to see it if it was not at one fifty four. It would be just no point. Same it thing. Would... Yeah, I mean, we know that. Earl is depleted when he goes 147, and it's like, you know, it would be the same same type of fight. Kind of like you and Cambosis, too. There wasn't a lot of interest in the yeah, second one. I mean, but it wasn't because Cambosis was, 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 was weight trained. No, no, like but that. it just... So that's, that's the thing. So it's even worse because it's like, all right, we know that he's, you know, not taking nothing away from Terrence, but we know that Earl is weight trained. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Yeah, we know that he's weight trained, so it's like his skills is his... Terrence's skills speak for themselves, but it's just, we know that the weight is taking a lot out of Earl as well. Do you have Terrence? Oh, there he is. <laughs> bless you, bless you. Do you have Terrence as number one pound for pound? Uh, I got him as number two behind Canelo. Wow. Yeah. Canelo number one. Yeah, I think. Not in a way. No. No. Even though Canelo lost to Bivol. Yeah, but, you know, Canelo's just going up weight, going up different weight classes and just, you know, daring to be great. So. But you know, Crawford with, did that, too. I know not as many yeah, weight classes. Yeah, but, you know, like you said, not as many. So but, what do you have? I mean, Can Canelo, Crawford? I got I, I got Canelo, Crawford, uh, Fury. Fury? Yeah. Tommy? Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was a joke. Uh, wow, Fury. So not Usyk, who went up in weight. I and not in a way. I thought anyway. it was a two horse race. Anyway. You know, in a way, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> he's the man. Nah, he's good. He's You're not good, impressed? Only thing about based it, on the opponents, the opponents only aren't. The thing about it is I like anyway. Yeah. I respect his game. 
but I don't know a lot of people that he fought, to be honest. Right. Like, I, I I understand the way he's doing. What he's doing with them is not easy, obviously. You know, I don't care who you are, whoever gets in the ring, you're knocking them out. It's not easy. But I don't... Can you name some... Name... Well, name Fulton was great. Okay, name name five people that anyway fought. Oh, five is tough. Donaire twice. Fulton. No, Don, Donaire is one person. Though. Well, I know. He fought him twice, though. Okay, that's one person. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Those are two, those you, are two if, I take, if I take five people, I fought. You know, you can't already say Cambosis twice. You can't say that. Well, so, sort of. I mean, no, the, every fight so, is different. So, we're talking about names. I right? get it. I, you're only as good as the opponent. There was a guy in, okay. uh, in MMA named Demetrius Johnson who was 125, and people didn't give him his credit because he wasn't fighting top guys. It reminds me a lot of that. Donair. Donair. Um, who, uh, Fulton. Fulton. Fulton who yeah. Else? Yeah, no, I mean, I get what you're saying. Come on. No, I, I can't. I can't. Off the top exactly. of my head, yeah. All right, so let's do Fury. Name. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. We got Wilder. Wilder Klitsch- three times. <laughs> no, we can't. Go. Klitschko. Klitschko. Uh, Dillian White. Dillian White. Chisora, but that was whack. Ch- Chisora, but we know these guys. Yeah, I know, so I know. But they're just because guys- heavyweights are more well known than the dudes at 122 and all this. Yeah, but we like it, it is what we we know the guys that Lomachenko fought when Lomachenko yeah. was fighting down there. So it's just you know it's just. I, just, I I have nothing against anyway. But you could see the skill, though, right? I mean, you the cannot skill. take. I, like I said, I respect yeah. his game. I can't. I I, I I cannot take that away from him. Um, I respect his power. He's 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 powerful, but I just don't know the guys that he's fighting. I don't I don't know them. He looked great against uh, 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 Fulton. Mm-hmm. He looks great against Cool Boy Steph. Um, beautiful performance. That was like the first real one that that I could say. Donaire. Was you know, was on, on the back. Donaire was on the back end of his career. Sure, he did smoke him though. What smoke was that like two rounds or something? What the second fight? Yeah, the second, second fight. fight. Yeah, the first, the first one was close. To, first fight, he went to war with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. By the way, what's your take? And uh, I'll let you go in a second here. But uh, crazy times in the world of boxing. Showtime out. Yeah, crazy. I mean, it's, it's, sad, it's, right? I see some people like happy about it, but I think it's a sad, sad time for boxing. You know, Showtime, Showtime has done so much for you know the sport, and. Um, it's just uh, it's just like a missing piece in boxing now. Like we got HBO gone, HBO gone. We got Showtime gone. But I think somebody new is gonna come in. But it's still, it's just Showtime is just like real boxing, you know? Yes, prestige. Yeah. Exactly. Imagine ten years ago telling someone no HBO boxing, no Showtime boxing. That's like that's like saying the UFC just right. UFC just gone. It, it it's crazy. Yeah. And, and I people, it's a lot of haters in boxing. I see people celebrating this. This is crazy. I know some people may not like Steven Espinosa. Or yeah, but. This is good for you guys to have. It's even bigger than Stephen S. Knows. It's just the Showtime. Yes. You know, it's just, you know, my grandpa grew up watching Showtime. You know, our, our, you know, people, Showtime's been around since. Yes, Tyson. And I started on Showbox. Showbox. Right, right, right. So, um, you know, Showbox made me who who I am today. So I always have respect for Stephen, Gordon Hall, you know, um, Showtime, Mm -hmm. you know, all the Showbox, all that. Shout out to you for knowing their names, Gordon Hall. That's uh... Gordon Hall. He runs Showbox. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah respect. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if a lot of people know. Uh, by the way, that pro that that promo that they put out. Yeah. The the one of you and Regis. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I a lot of people like a lot that of people dude. Like it. You know the guy who does that for um, the Zone, or actually it's for Matchroom. His name is Alex Haynes, British guy, uh-huh. tall guy. I think he may have worked with you. Yeah. Ah, oh, he he kills it with those promos. That yeah. one was so great. You guys whispering and all that. Yeah, shit. no, a lot. Did you like it? Yeah, a lot of people liked it. Um. When I first seen it, it was like, all right, like you weren't blown away. Was, I lo- I've watched, watched it like ten times. And then my dad, he was like, "That is fire!" Yes. And when it dropped, everybody was saying how crazy it was. Oh, it was great. I loved it. There's but like you an know, intensity. Like you do something, so you already know what you're gonna say. Sure, you know, sure, so sure. Like, all right. But when you see it together and yeah. both of you guys back and forth. By the way, I like the teeth here. What oh, do we got over here? Oh, uh, just some diamonds in my teeth. Yo, yeah. how much are those? Ah, uh, we don't want to. Nothing like that. ten bucks. Yeah. Yo, can you eat with those, or do you have to take them out? No, they're permanent. They're permanent? Yeah. So when you fight, you have them in? When I fight, I have them in. Sheesh. Uh, uh, KSI's... Um, Mouthpiece, you know, yeah. Yeah, fi- I think it was 51,000 pounds, whatever that translates into yeah. American dollars. Yeah. That's absurd. Would you ever do something like that? No, I mean, it's fire. You know, um, You know, it's, it's when you when you look good, you fight good. Yeah. And, uh, well, that fight I wasn't believe great. That. Did you see it? The KSI one? <laughs> <laughs> I was commentating it. I said it was unwatchable on the commentary. I mean, you gotta respect those guys. They they get in the ring and um. It was tough actually, to watch. Well, not they kept so much, holding each other. Not so much seconds. Tommy Fury. I mean, I I respect him. Yeah. Like you know, but I'm a guy like KSI. He 
he didn't grow up boxing. You know, he no, no. Up boxing. He's been taking it serious, and he's been dedicated to the sport. So just be even being there and be able to last with a guy like you know Tommy Fury is moral not, victory. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I, I, they said. I was too critical on Tommy, but I was like. I'm holding him to a higher standard because he's the pro boxer. But you can't do that though. At the end of the day, when you're commentating, I feel like. Oh, uh, that was that was my bad. <laughs> what do you mean? He's the pro boxer fighting yeah. the rapper. Yeah, no, but but you, they're they're two. Did you fighters. think I was biased? Did you watch it? Uh, I didn't. I didn't like. Okay, good. Like you were For biased. I didn't feel like you were biased. Oh, thank you. I appreciate listening that. to the commentary. But um, why is that unfair in this particular case when it's a rapper? But they're both boxers, and when they get into that ring, so I know. But one they're, dude they're, is. They're both on an even playing field when they get into that ring. You think so? Even though one guy's like a legit. Like pro boxer. Yeah, I mean, we're saying we're 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 really saying the same yeah, thing yeah, you know, yeah, in, yeah. in a sense because we're saying that you know KSI did good for, to even be right, you know, fighting a, a boxer. So a guy that grew up in the sport of boxing, brother is a uh, great in the sport of boxing. Legend, His, father. Yeah, father. Um, I like. Who do you think won? Who do I think won? Actually, I thought it was a draw because yeah. I thought. Well, you know what. No, draw, but then because of the 10-8. Yeah. yeah, so so KSI should have won. 3-3, three, 10-8, three, second, KSI wins. Yeah. Wait, so what did they score that round? They scored it a 10-8, but they the like they only gave him some one judge gave him like just that one and then the rest to Tommy, or gave the first two to, to KSI and then the next four to Tommy. So yeah. it, it was a moot point. You think they'll fight again? No, I hope not. I want to see KSI Jake Paul. That's what I want to see. That's the one. You would watch that? See. And I don't really, like, care for, like, influencer boxing. Not, like, I don't care for it, but, it, like, I'm for it. I'm for it because they bring a lot of new eyeballs to the sport of boxing, but I don't really, like, watch it. Yeah. Obviously, because it's just, like... It was crazy, though, man. There were, like, 10-year-old kids in that crowd. I've never yeah, seen anything yeah, like no, it. It's great for the boxing. Place, I was at Spence Crawford. There was no one in the arena till the co-main. Yeah. This place... 70% full before the first fight. Yeah, because... By the time the main card started, it was six-fight main card. It's different, it's different boxing bands. They don't, they don't really like... You know. They know everyone. Yeah. They knew everyone. There yeah. was tag team boxing, too. You see but, that? Hey, that shit was kind of... It was lit, crazy, man. right? Yeah, I kind of fucked The dude that. got dropped, and then he went out. I actually I actually enjoyed it. It was like one of the most enjoyable fights on the card. I kind of fucked with that. I'm not going to lie. Would you like, do it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but um, I want to see Jake and KSI. That's the one. Obviously, Jake is my boy. I'm cool with Jake. Um... Me and Jake, me and Jake train together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll, I'll be talking to Jake, giving him pointers, stuff like that. Nice. Um, I want to see that fight though. That's the biggest one. That sells out like eighty thousand seat soccer. Yeah, stadium. I would hate to see like one of them stop boxing, and then like they don't ever fight. You know what they'd be acting like? What? The real boxers. Yeah. Give us the fight that we want. Stop dilly dallying <laughs> on Twitter, going yeah. back and forth with your stupid. Yeah. Like, like that's the one. And, and one, then go and, away. And if one of them loses, it's like it's not the end of the world. Right. Like boxers, this is our life. This is what we. This is all we have, really. Right. They have like, you know, they're still them. They got a million. They got drinks and yeah, albums and crazy stuff. All right, December 9th, San Francisco Chase Center, home of the Warriors. You're coming home. Yeah. Are you gonna come out to? You're coming home. You're coming. I'm coming home. I'm, I'm coming. coming. You gonna do that? No. Everyone does that. No. Okay. No. It's too old. No. It's been done. Yes. All right. You know your walkout yet? No, nah, not yet. Okay. If you need. Tips. You want to walk out with me? You want me there? I'll be there. I mean, I feel like I've shown you a lot of love, if I'm being honest. And, you know, it's, it's only right, right? Well, it hasn't been, it's not really been a two way street. Like, I haven't, you haven't shown I'm me. I'm here. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> we could talk to DAZONE. They like me very much. I could, I could be on the commentary if you want. Can I be in the ring doing the interview? I, I like doing that. I'm going to see what I, I'm going to see. I, I, got, I got some juice with DAZONE. So I mean, they love you. See. You're yeah. back. Eddie loves me. I'm back. I, li I, I like doing the, the Larry Merchant thing. We're back. We're back. Come on. <laughs> nice. uh, there he is, Devin Haney, the man going up from 135 to 140 to fight Regis Progre on December 9th, live and exclusively on DAZN Pay-Per-View. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.